quick little Dave tip here on making sure your audio hardware is set correctly. There's a vital setting in Windows that we recommend you turn off if you're using Playout One, and it's called Exclusivity Mode. What is it? What does it do? Well, when this mode is set on your audio sound card, should another piece of software want to use your sound card, it may be able to exclusively lock it so nothing else can use it. This is obviously bad because we don't want that sound device to be exclusively locked to another piece of software if Playout One is trying to use it. So we recommend turning on shared mode, making it all nice and friendly, and then you shouldn't have any problems. So here's how you get to the setting and here's how you turn it off. First, minimize Playout One and then click on the Windows Start menu and type in the word Sounds. Once you've done that, click on Change System Sounds and go to the Playback tab. In here, you'll see a list of all of your sound cards. Choose the ones that you mostly use with Playout One and then double click on them and go to the Advanced tab. Once you get here, there's a couple of settings we just want to check. Under the Exclusive Mode section, uncheck both boxes. And then in the default format, if you have a specific format you'd like to use, then make sure it's set correctly. If you don't, I would recommend 16-bit 44100 CD quality. It's generally a safe format to use. Next, if you've got a spatial sound tab, go on to there and make sure all the settings in here are turned off. They're not going to do you any favors. You don't need them. Once you've done that, we're going to repeat the process in the recording tab. Go select your recording device, go into the advanced tab, uncheck any boxes in the exclusive mode, check your default format. And again, if you're unsure, go with two channel or one channel 16 bit 44100 CD quality. You won't go far wrong. And that is how you unset exclusive mode in Windows. Word of caution, when you do this, you will need to restart Playout 1 for those changes to become effective. And Playout 1 may stop playing audio once you've changed these settings. So make sure you do it when you are in a maintenance window.